Hi, I'm Mindy Yoshikawa, and I'm so excited to be um, doing my first video for Sunny Studio Stamps featuring the Fishtail Banner dies. Um, this banner comes um, sized at four and a half, uh, quarter inches wide, and um, it comes all in one piece that you um, separate um, you either using um, wire cutters that you um, can snip apart the little um, sections, or you can um, kind of wiggle them back and forth until they fall apart like this. Um, so I'm going to be sharing a couple different ways to use them today. Um, the first way I'm going to be um, using them is on a shaped card to create a decorative edge on the bottom of an A2 um, card base. So to do this, um, I will be using a four and a quarter by five and a half, oh, excuse me, four and a quarter by 11 inch card base which I will fold in half the long way. To do this, um, I'm gonna go ahead and score it, sorry, um, at five and a half inches. So I'll use that same bone folder to make sure it's nice and flat. And then I'm going to pull out my um, Sizzix Big Shot to um, cut out um, the die. Now these dies can be used in um, a variety of um, competitor, um, not even competitor, um, manufacturers cutting machines. You can use them in the Big Shot, the Spellbinders, um, the, the Cuddlebug. And so I'm going to position this die at the bottom on the open end of the card. Um, to add my decorative edge and um, my cutting plates happen to be like brand new for this video so um, I didn't need um, anything to hold it in place but you could either use a magnetic platform or um, you could use washi tape and you can see there it adds a really fun decorative edge with the stitching so next I um, would like to add a little decorative edge using um, this scallop um, border. So I'm going to use the straight edge along with the scallop to create um, a smaller um, border that can be added on to the bottom of my card. So I'm going to position them face down on the paper. And again, um, washi tape might be handy in this step, but um, my, cut my cutting plates were very flat so I could position it fairly easily. Sorry, I was getting so flustered doing my video for the first time that I, I was kind of sloppy in how I positioned my cut, cutting mats, but it worked. So run it through one more time. And now I'm going to snip them apart. Um, they're open on the ends so that... Um, you can use them in a variety of ways. So um, I'm gonna try to cut them a little longer than the four and a quarter so that um, I have a little wiggle room to position them over the center of my um, card base. And so that's why you see me clipping them off a little bit on the ends. So now um, I'm going to take that card base and um, adhere them to the bottom on the inside. Kind of testing out where I want them. And because they're somewhat narrow, I decided to use um, a glue pin, um, but you could use score tape or any other adhesive you might have on hand. Um, this is just a favorite of mine for narrow little spots. And then I decided, well, um, I might add a little glue along the top of there too to make sure that um, it's nice and adhered. I started by putting them here, but then I realized I need to see um, what it looks like on the front. So I flipped it over and oops, it fell off. So repositioning it. Press it down, make sure it's nice and tight, and then I'll clip off any little excess that are on the sides.
to position my second one, I follow the same steps, but this time um, I'm gonna um, put my little banner down over the um, other one so that they're lined up perfectly when you have the card closed. Excuse my head here. I'm gonna close the card in on the adhesive that I had there. And um, clip off the excess. So I have a finished card I've created using the same um, card base idea that I will be sharing on the blog in November. But um, I used the banners in a variety of ways here on this card. I even used it along the top. It, um, it was that little pennant along the top in white was just the right um, width to make it look like I stitched that banner on the top. So I just ran it through again with that. And now I'd like to show you how you can use these banners um, with their little um, tick marks to perfectly center um, banners of a variety of widths from um, any kind of scrap or strip of paper you have. I know we all have tons of scraps and strips, or maybe you're not like me, I save everything. So I'm gonna speed this up here in a minute, but um, I'm gonna run them through with a variety of different um, widths. And those tick marks go all the way through the die, so you're able to view them on both the front and the back. And again, washi tape um, could be really handy here. If you use washi tape, I've found that using it on the bottom portion of the die that's gonna cut off is the most, um, or is the best place to put the washi tape because if it leaves an impression, um, that part is gonna be discarded most likely anyway, so. I, um, this particular size, I find myself using a lot for um, adding little cinnamons to a card, so um, it's really fun to add a decorative border um, to this thickness. So here's an up close look at all the finished banners. And um, I have a layout to share where I used um, banners of this size um, on, for a fun decorative border. I love how you can layer these to um, have a different unique combinations and how you can get perfectly positioned cuts every time. Here's an up close look at that um, banner border. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I've shared links in the um, description where you can um, buy these and find more inspiration from Sunny Studio Stamps. Thanks for watching.